We are going to pack a punch every single wonder weapon in Call of Duty Treyarch Zombies history. The only rules being no repeats, meaning it has to be original and exclusive to its respective game, and no wonder gadgets, equipment, specialists, anything like that, not even melees. I'm going to save that for a different video as well. You may be familiar with the Wonder Weapon series I had done prior to this where we tackled each respective game, used all of the Wonder Weapons, did upgrade them if possible, and got a minimum of 100 kills with them. I'm going to essentially scrap that into a fresh take on it, add it to this series, and upgrade what we can. There are a few Wonder Weapons in Zombies history that I consider Wonder Weapons that you cannot actually upgrade. There's of course the Jet Gun from Transit, which is a buildable, the Sliquifier from Die Rise, another buildable, and the Savage Impaler, which isn't upgradable for whatever reason in Dead of the Night. Everything else, whether it be through the Pack-a-Punch machine purely or through a quest, can be upgraded and we are going to catch them all, as Ash would say, as uh, the old Pokemon cliche goes. We've done every weapons class up to this point. The last episode was launchers and specials and I figured this would be a nice thing to sandwich in right before we get into the Cold War episode, which will be upgrading all Cold War guns of all classes, including Wonder Weapons. The problem is, right now, the Cold War servers seem to be plagued with hackers and people breaking in. Apparently, it's not safe to play at the moment. Thanks, devs, for, you know, really making a secure foundation for Call of Duty games over the years. I guess you can't play it or your uh, house gets burned down at the moment. So, we're going to avoid that, postpone it for a couple of weeks if necessary. To kind of add on to what I was talking about earlier with the qualifiers, what I consider to be a Wonder Weapon is a handheld device that shoots some form of ammunition consistently that isn't, you know, like I said, a melee, you know, monkey bomb, stuff like that that doesn't really count specialists. I'm pretty sure it can even upgrade any, if most of those. So although the line is somewhat blurry and things are a little bit vague and we're inevitably going to get comments of saying you missed that, this and the other, I'm pretty sure for the Treyarch ones at least, we have them all. And like I said, all of them that I qualify can be papped or upgraded in some capacity other than three, which I think is going to be pretty fun if you ask me. Okay, all right, we got the ray gun. Let's roll with it. We all know what the ray gun is, what it does, how it functions, how spectacular it is, at least at this point in time, obviously. Over time, it gets a lot worse. But... In World at War, it is a force to be reckoned with. In Black Ops 1, it is even better because there's PhD, but, you know, not here. Oftentimes, when you think COD Zombies, you think the Ray Gun because it has been in virtually every map across virtually every single game. That's how iconic it is. That's the easiest way to put it. The sound effect just brings you back to 2008 when you didn't have many responsibilities and you were screaming and still primarily playing the Nintendo Wii. Now, spoiler alert, on Doris specifically here, the Ray Gun is probably the better Wonder Weapon, not in a vacuum, not on all of the maps, but just because the Wonder Woth, the other Wonder Weapon, is problematic because, God forbid, you make a game without fucking 10,000 glitches. Oh, okay. Okay. All right. Well, here we go. We're in business. This gun was introduced on Shino. It was fine. It was functional. You know, no problems whatsoever. Then it comes back on Reese. And there is a major problem with it. It's notorious. Give you a little shocky shock. Damn, that's fucking overkill. <laughs> I'm sorry, bro. <laughs> if you accidentally shock yourself with the Wonder Wolf, if you get too close to your own shot and electrocute, then you lose Jug. The perk icon itself, of course, doesn't disappear, but your two-hit death becomes inevitable again. You no longer get the privilege of having a four or five hit down with Jug. That all disappears. And I'm going to prove it to you once I get uh, some decent footage here first, but, you know. And it's a shame that it's only on this map because this is the best map to have it of all time. The most iconic World at War Duries. Not Black Ops 1 Duries, as much as I love that game. It's just not the same, you know what I mean? Like, this is the map to have it on, but it's literally not at the same time, which blows. While we're doubling down on glitch perks, let's just buy a quick revive since that's just as useless. <laughs> the ray gun in comparison is hardly even a wonder weapon, and don't get me wrong, it has its issues too. The splash damage is brutal, but there's nothing much more brutal than what I'm about to show you, which is getting to hit unexpectedly too. You can't even fucking tell. Watch this bull. 
<laughs> I mean, really? Here we are on BO1. Kino, you already know the deal, yo. The ray gun makes its return, but we're here for the thunder gun. Who gives a shit about the ray gun at this point? Boring. So here's the thing with wonder weapons in this game. They are all, all in the box, which means it is completely up to the RNG gods, RNGesus himself. So we could be here for an hour. We could be here for 15 minutes. I really have no idea. That's kind of the beauty and the tragedy of this game simultaneously, because it's convenient to just spin the box, get it, and not have to worry about going on some long-winded quest. Don't get me wrong, but... I don't like having it out of my control entirely as well, uh, but that's just how it was back in 2010, you know, it was super casual like that. Yes, yes, oh my gosh, spun the box quite a few times, and we finally have got it. The Thunder Gun, though having made several appearances throughout the game's history, is easily the most iconic on this map, probably because everyone just remembers Syndicate using it to drag his weight around 115 back in the day, but you know what? This gun is the ultimate not have to fucking worry gun. <laughs> you just walk around carelessly knowing that with the pull of the trigger at any point in any predicament, Big or small, you are going to send your enemies thousands of miles away. Obviously, the Thunder Gun wasn't the very first Wonder Weapon, but it almost felt as if it was because, you know, the Ray Gun Wonder Off, they have their problems, they have their limitations, and so does this. I mean, you can't even get drops with it in Black Ops 1 here, but it's the first Wonder Weapon that really, uh, knocked your socks off. You know, really knocked you off your feet, and I mean that literally and figuratively, of course. Becomes the almighty Zeus Cannon. You already know, 28 bullets of absolute fucking tornado. It's like a 9.9 out of 10 on the Timmy scale, because, you know, the only drawback, like I said, you don't get max ammos. It sucks. Uh, you do in BO3, but not in this game, and then you're constantly having to just, like, swap out a gun and just keep respinning for it on high rounds it's kind of a pain in that way pentagon time baby we on five we're gonna get the winter's howl it is the greatest wonder weapon of all time i can't even finish that sentence it is a lame pathetic piece of shit excuse for a wonder weapon it's like the ice staffs mentally challenged little brother you know it's, it's not very good it's a little better in classified in bo4 in this game it's dog water it is not something i love using or trying to get because you got to spin the box a bunch the fire sales help but the pentagon thief doesn't not looking forward to seeing him <laughs> like at all but you know we're, we're, we're gonna make our way there oh god he's already here oh my god i'm gonna pee myself all right well there's not much i can do other than shoot him okay 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 all right, take this, take this, you fucking dweeb. God, I hate this guy, I hate this guy. Get back here. I'm gonna knife you. I'm gonna knife you. Uh, yes! Oh, Mark-ass bitch. I'm gonna shoot this pig, too. It's a sign of dominance. Okay, all right, let's just get this now. Just the less time on five, the better. Honestly, I mean, I... I, I I have a soft side for the map, but at the same time, it is just, just quite a, an ordeal. Yes. Yes. Although the Pentagon Thief, I sh think, should be here next round. So, I got a ray gun, too, for what it's worth. I don't know if it'd be better to have this out or not. No! We didn't get the bonfire sale. Well, that's all right. I mean, we're going to take him out in short order here. Okay. Okay. Well, we didn't quite get what we wanted, and honestly, I don't even need the fire sale, because I already fucking have the guns I need. Mildly inconvenient. Pretty fucking pathetic. You know? Doesn't really kill. <laughs> Doesn't really have ammo. Isn't very functional on round, uh, what is it, 13, let alone, you know, an actual high round attempt. I mean, that's why... That's pretty much the biggest reason why this map is so difficult. Look, I'm not saying there are other reasons that make 5 difficult. You have the confined space, you have the Pentagon Thief, you have the traps being in shitty locations, but moreover, you have a Wonder Weapon that really isn't doing you any justice. You have to spend an extra 4,000 points, which is just disgraceful. But we got the Winter's Fury. We got the Tommy Fury. And there should be a big old conglomerate of them sitting right, out of this, right outside of this door, and when... 
the time comes and when the door opens, we're going to unleash the absolute fury of a Canadian winter. Moment of silence, absolutely necessary. Oh, there's not that many of them. It's so bad. We on a Call of the Dead, the greatest map in the greatest game ever, and I'm the woman. I am Sarah Michelle Geller. Hello, Georgie. We got a twofer. We're gonna go for the Scavenger and, of course, the VR-11. They're both in the box. No quests for really the entirety of BO1. Just box spinning, baby. Just slots. Let's get the Mustang and sell it. Let's phone a friend. We got PhD. That's a must, of course, also for the Scavenger when we get that. This'll uh, keep us extra safe. All right. Hopefully, we get Mule Kick. Then I might be able to keep it. That would be perfect, actually. All right, let's... Let's save the Wonder Wolf. Oh my god, we got it! And we got Matryoshkas. Yes, 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 yes. Okay, let's trade out the RPK and turn you into a person. <laughs> yeah, that's the VR-11. Fucking useless beyond that. I guess he's a good distraction for George. Actually, I mean, he calms George down, right? Yeah, yeah, he chills him out. A uh, little distraction device. Really just a, a gun for the Easter egg. All right, let's go pack a punch this thing right off the bat. Here comes the Lazarus. And it actually can send George away for an entire round at a time, which is pretty cool. Let's see if it works. No? Wait, maybe he has to be on land? I don't know. Yeah, I think he's going away. I think he's hibernating for the winter. Yeah, okay. Goodbye. <laughs> he just he just rage quit. He's just like, you know what? Fuck this. Oh gosh. Oh gosh. Oh gosh. Oh gosh. What? What the fuck? All right. Before I even grab a jug or a quick revive. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. I need to be careful. Nuke. Nuke. No. What? Oh, you're dicking me. I just cannot catch a break. That was back to back. Bullshit! All right, we're gonna restart and get the scavenger. Yes, okay, we got it. Yes. Sorry, I'm listening to some music. Just listening to some Mac while I clawed my way back to where I was originally. Okay, we're gonna get George away from the crawler. We're gonna get him down, get an extra perk, pack a punch this thing. And I mean, that's really the end of it. I mean, the scavenger, as we all know, explosive sniper rifle, super fucking cool. Only on this map, of course. The only real wonder weapon other than the ray gun, I would say, on this map. Because the VR-11, as we all know, is dog shit. This is the real one. And Flopper is a necessity, as you can see. Oh, I already kind of just put him down there. I already weakened him with my ray gun. Goodbye, Georgie. And throw this in. Get the uh, hyena in for a dead. Ugh! Mmm! Let's do this. I wouldn't say this is my favorite wonder weapon ever. That would be on the next map, the Baby Maker. I think that's the coolest. But this is one of the more unique ones for sure. Kind of encapsulates Call of the Dead and its flair and personality. It is a fun wonder weapon to say the least. It go boom. And it make cool trample steam sound. Not trample steam. What do I think of? Subsurface resonator. We on Shang. Got some important business to attend to first before we do this. Oh, I miss. Damn, that's a little bit embarrassing. Why do I have a lag spike every time I make that turn? And yes, this is the second attempt because it is very, very difficult to get the baby gun. I don't know this for a fact, but it feels like the odds of getting it are the lowest of any wonder weapon ever. Again, I have no actual statistical or concrete evidence to support that claim, but it just sort of feels like you don't ever fucking get it. You know, you could just spin the box 500 times, doesn't matter, map is pretty challenging along with that. So I just, you really just kind of walk into this just praying praying you get it within a reasonable time frame. We need a little bit of extra insurance, a little bit of extra safety here. So, Mustang and Sally. When in doubt, Mustang and saying yeah. I just fucked that up so bad. Watch this, ready? <laughs> Little ass bitch. Oh my god. Oh my god. I just know that that's crazy. All right, yeah, we're gonna take that. <laughs> Holy shit, I did- I was losing a little bit of hope there. We're gonna pack a punch it, stepping on the stone, of course. 
We're gonna get the Fractalizer. Now, as we all know, this gun makes babies. It shoots semen and creates little children. No, I'm just kidding, of course. Let's keep it PG. Ah, fuck, what is going on, dude? Shangri-La be like, LOL. I'm relieved to be at this point because sometimes it, the doubt creeps in. No doubt the doubt creeps in. It's one of the riskiest, yet one of the best wonder weapons in COD Zombies history because of the amount of ammo and the fact that it basically kills infinitely, which is weird because it doesn't actually kill at all. All it does is shrink them to allow you to kill them, but their damage becomes, or their health becomes so weak when they are small that their damage is just uh, exponential here. So, I mean, the strat really is something along the lines of, well, just running around. Semtex's help. All right, Jug, cool. We're gonna go for it. We're gonna risk it for the biscuit. Why not? Is a better question than why. Ooh. Okay, okay. We're gonna get some points here with our Colt. Figuring this out, lads. Drink it up. Yes. I'm not satisfied yet, though. Not satisfied yet. I'm bloodthirsty, baby. We're gonna go for this grenade kill. Mostly just to clear out space so I can actually get up there to outer space. Eh, throw that right there, and let's go, let's go, let's go. Oh my gosh. Run, you fucking slow bitch. I'll kill you. I'll kill you. Oh, all right. Well, here we are. Now, the reason why we're on moon is obvious. We are here for the wave gun, which is, say it with me, in the box. But what's going to be a lot easier about moon than Shang and Call the Dead and those other maps is... A, we have fire sails like those other maps, but also we have the hacker, which is going to allow us to spin the box more frequently for a lower overall cost. So we should get it in short order if everything goes according to plan. And it's one of the best wonder weapons ever. We're getting way more bang for our buck this way. We hack it, hack it again, and the cost only ends up being a total of 600 instead of 950. Unless you just get it. Woo! Guess what, bitch? Get electrocuted. We're gonna go pack these without any hesitation. With haste! Extraordinary stuff right there. No wasted time, unlike Shangri-La and Call of the Dead, for that matter. All right, so we got our classic wave gun slash dual wield zap guns. Versatile, multiple functionalities, as we know. And a lot of ammo, a ton of ammo. Just as much in the wave gun alone as the entire Thunder Gun, neither give you drops unless it's Black Ops 3, which is unfortunate for both of them. But what this gun has that the Thunder Gun doesn't have is an entire different set of weapons here with the Zap Guns. These are obviously fun, but the even more fun part, fuck you, bitch, is the Wave Gun part, which we just do all like moi. <laughs> It doesn't really ever get old, does it? We're starting here on Mob of the Dead for Black Ops 2. You may be wondering, Tim, why aren't we starting on good old reliable, good old transit? And that's simply because the jet gun cannot be pack-a-punched. It is a buildable. You cannot upgrade it. I would say unfortunately, but really fortunately, because that just saves me the tiresome headache that is that map. <laughs> And that also applies to Diarize with this liquefier. It's a great wonder weapon, unlike the jet gun. It's a buildable, but you can't upgrade it. So we're skipping right through those and Nuketown for that matter, because the Mark II is on that map, but that originates on Buried. So the first OG wonder weapon in BO2 that you can upgrade is the Blundergat. And what's fascinating about the Blundergat, of course, is there are various ways to go about it. You can outright upgrade it into the Sweeper, you can put it into the acid gat kit and just get the acid gat or if you're smart you do both of those things and you get the vitrolic withering and additionally you can get on blood of the dead in black ops 4 of course the magma variant of it the magma gat which is i don't know if it's the best version i wouldn't say it is but it's a very good one it kind of attracts the zombies like a monkey bomb i love that one as well so that encompasses the blunder gat. Ah. All right, way to pop right in front of me. Just put you down real quick. Grab our trusty blunder gat. And what we're gonna do first before we do anything is go grab the sweeper. So we're gonna put this directly in the pack-a-punch machine. 
get this sweeper then we'll come back then put it in the acid kit for the full vitrolic withering because obviously if i put it in the acid kit first that means we won't get the sweeper effect there is a specific order if you want the sweeper itself now the acid yet we all know what that is and the vitrolic withering is largely the exact same the galling gun and the blunderbuss had a baby they rubbed tips and made the blunder gat that's what that is so blunderbuss imagine like a big old musket looking thing kind of a hybrid with a shotgun i i'm probably a little bit off base there but that's sort of the general concept of it and when it's upgraded it just i mean how do you describe it orgasmic it is one of the most powerful guns ever Let's see how many zombies we can kill in a row with just this one shot all of them <laughs> literally all of them all right let's throw that in sweeper is well the same exact thing but much stronger you get two in the mag a lot of ammo just a fuck ton and it just disintegrates them i mean they were there a second ago and now they're not check this out oh honestly you know it's not as good as having the full vitrolic weathering the full stage three version obviously but it's it's pretty damn good it's pretty fucking good quickly throw this in now rumor has it that the acid gat attracts the zombies kind of like that of a monkey bomb the vitrolic withering has a similar effect with the explosion but i don't think it actually has that full-on monkey bomb ting going on and since you know what we already got the full version here we don't really need to be playing much longer i'm gonna grab dead shot for like the first recorded time in mob of the dead history and there goes my shield cool 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 all of the above is very cool i don't think it attracts them no it does not oh no it does it does i was wrong so obviously this is the version to have you can distract them give yourself a moment to think it's very powerful you have a fuck ton of ammo just an assortment of ways to use this blunder guy. That's why it's one of the better wonder weapons ever. And I remember watching the Smith Plays videos all the way back in the day. And I'm not positive he was the one who discovered this. But it's a strategy that he showed me which kind of goes a little bit like this. You know, having this plus cherry, jug, and a shield is what's called the unlimited... Not the unlimited. I can't even get the name of it right. The invincible <laughs> setup. So, as long as you constantly fire this thing, the zombies are distracted, the explosions won't be enough to kill you if you have Jug and a shield, and the constant cherry will constantly stun them in place on top of that, so you end up being somewhat invincible. We're on Buried. I feel like I've been on this map a million times. This is Origins for this upgrading series, but we need to be here for two Wonder Weapons specifically. The Paralyzer, which is exclusive to this map, and the Raygun Mark II. Now, the Raygun Mark II traditionally appears on this map you can upgrade it normally in the pack-a-punch machine and then it appears on the rest of the bo2 maps after the fact which i think is awesome but it originates here back on buried of course and then in black ops 4's alpha omega lull you can get the mark ii again you can upgrade it in that game regularly as well but there's a pretty cool feature because in that game you can upgrade the mark ii into four different elements and then you can double pap them they have these pain in the ass processes to do it but you know you get the right aat and then you can get a corresponding either uh, v x y or z ray gun mark ii one of them is a dual wield, one of them is a shotgun type, one of them is a laser beam, and the other one is like a giant orb. It's all really fucking cool. Yes! Why, yes! All right, I was gonna say, like, dang. I mean, I've already spun like 30 times or so, and we had no problem getting the wonder weapons on literally every other weapons class. That's kind of what helped me get through all that. Yes. Yes, that's what I'm talking about, baby. All right. Honestly, I say, you know, what? let's get enough for ah, no, no, no. Let's just go. Let's just go. Let's go. The witches are gonna steal my money anyways. Bitches always out for the money. Oh, they ended up stealing my money. I had to reload this thing. They're sneaking up on behind me. That's not fun. Ah! We'll throw in the Mark II right now. Saving up just a little bit more. You guys need to fuck off. Grab it. Grab it. Grab it yes mark ii is well the 2.0 version of the ray gun much much better extremely good uh, headshot multiplier no splash damage above all else of course so 
And the Mark II is just superior in every way. Actually kind of underrated in terms of its damage, plus a pretty good amount of ammo. It's really better for training than what I'm doing right now. But what is good for camping is, of course, the Paralyzer. This paired with Vulture Aid, you literally sit on every spot, any spot in the map. Just tap the trigger like so. And if it's upgraded, you got that Vulture Aid gas to buy you a little extra time. You are literally invincible, making Buried one of the easiest maps of all time. It's time for a little Origins. We are going for the stabs this time. Which feels a little bit weird to be completely honest but <clears throat> you know it's a whole ass process it's gonna be a long long one but we're gonna edit it of course so you only see uh, the highlights of it all right ice done just gonna leave that there fire done we got lightning done as well i don't have all of the wind staff pieces yet but i'm thinking we just get going on this one and we'll just kind of find those robots as we go. All right, cool. All right, we got lightning done. What I'm gonna do is just leave it here, move on to the next. We got it upgraded so the challenge at a base level is done. Hopefully by the end of this, we don't die out and we can come back to the crazy place and just spam them all to high hell. All right, cool. So we got everything done but wind. I just need one more robot by gens two and three to be able to do that all right we finally got all the necessary wind staff pieces the finish line is close no of course of course of course i die at this point when i have them all okay well you know what i don't know i don't know guys are we gonna get the footage tell you what tell you what tell you what it's gonna be hard to die with a staff. Timmy will find a way to do it. It's these fucking stupid rock thingies that get in the way. Anyways, so we're gonna get some footage here of at least the wind staff. Of course, each staff has a full charge and then a one pump shot. Both are pretty good. You know, I would say the wind staff's best purpose is a lot like the thunder gun, just to get the fuck away from me type deal. Really good for uh, sticky situations. Not the best for high rounds, though. Not a lot of ammo, but extreme damage. Lightning and fire are both very similar in that they're not great for high rounding because, frankly, they glitch out the engine more than anything, especially in Black Ops 2. But they're both very standard, very good, good amount of ammo. They get the job done, at least for a while. Ice is kind of the opposite of the wind in regards to, you know... It is very, very good for high rounds. The best for high rounds. It's the best in terms of kill count. It doesn't necessarily do it in such a quick fashion, though. So each staff has their pros and cons, of course. We're really just using these charge shots here because... Uh, that's how we're going to keep ourselves alive, most likely. Eh. Give the ice a good rocking. Oh, shit. Hell yeah. Hell yeah! This is the moment we've all been waiting for. Like Phil Collins said. Oh, well, I'm dead. Okay. <laughs> well, we missed out on the uh, the lightning one. Who fucking cares? Black Ops 3, Durais and Drac, we're not starting on Shadows because the Apothic and Servant can only be upgraded on Revelation, so we'll get to that. But for now, we're on the quest to obtaining the Wrath of the Ancients, and subsequently the four elemental bows that come along with it. We're rocking one mega, as per usual. that's the rule. We're doing uh, just the double points. We got our Wrath of the Ancients, courtesy of Miss Dragon. So we're gonna start with the Lightning, probably move on to Wolf after that. And then we have Fire and Void, which are the lengthier ones beyond that. So without further ado, let's get our target practice on, eh? Hell yeah. All right, we got one out of four. Lightning done. We're going to move on to Wolf now. All right, now we got Wolf. Hell yeah. All right, cool. We got fire done. Let's go uh, finish this up. Give it a good old clean rub and tug finish. All right. Come complete. Come complete. Let's start off with Void since we finished off with Void, you know? Uh, if I can actually survive... I feel like there's a million zombies coming from every single angle imaginable. You know what? Let's use the wolf bow. Let's get them the fuck out of here. My favorite bow, personally. Can't go wrong with this. 
This and Lightning are super easy to build. The other two are a little bit more of a hassle, but ultimately they're all the same in terms of stats. You know, they're all going to get you the same amount of kills. It's just a matter of how they do it, of course. For example, the Void is a little bit slower, a little more methodical, but it gets the job done. They're a little bit, a smidge bit easier to get than the Stabs on Origins. I think the Origin Stabs, though, subsequently are a smidge better overall. But, you know, these have a fuck ton of ammo, plus all the gobble gum and insanely OP shit in this game. Like, it's just impossible not to have a really good, fun high round with these things. They're pretty much goaded in every single way. And then, of course, there's a lightning bow, which is the most mindless of them all. You just kind of camp. That's really it. <laughs> Just stand here. This is what I do to get to high rounds. Literally just find a good corner. Any corner will suffice, really. Get alchemical. Spam. We on Zetsubo. We're here for the KT4. Duh. We're going to upgrade it to the Masamune. Now, getting the Masamune in and of itself is like doing about half, if not more than half, of the Easter egg. I'm not going to do the entire Easter egg, obviously. And by the way, I'm running Perka because Zetsubo is the one map I will shamelessly, shamelessly run Perka on as my Mega. Because <laughs> I there's so fucking much to this map to worry about all at once, it feels like. And if I could just alleviate the pressure of perks, then that's nice. Let's see what our challenge is. All right, baby. Shoot five spores. Easy. Is a fan trap. Easy. Eight spiders. Dude, easy challenges. Let's go. And we have to do them. They are mandatory to get this gun, which is kind of lame, but it is what it is. Oh, yeah. Look at all those chemicals mixing together. Spider DNA and shit. All right. Anyways, I got a little distracted there. Sorry. KT4. It's nice. It's actually in the box now, technically speaking, which I think is really cool about BO3 owner weapons. Now we got to get the upgrade, which involves us. I mean, just look at this myriad of shit. <laughs> Ladies and gents, it is now time for the moment of truth. Our Sliquifier 2.0. We're going to get our Masamune. Put that right on in. This is actually one of the more underrated wonder weapons. It kind of goes under the radar because Zetsubo sort of goes under the radar. And plus, it is a painstaking process to get it took me pretty much a whole game of zetsubo like a good 45 minutes just to do this solo and that's really without too op of gobble gum and this is a perfect round to fucking utilize this thing on dude let's just kill some spiders eh well, mark ass bitch look at that mm. and it's blue i want to see this thing take down a whole horde though let's get them all Ooh, and a thrasher nice this thing is great for thrashers Thrashers are pretty much the worst boss zombie ever. I'll go to my grave saying this. They don't give you any points for killing them. No reward. And the quantity of them is higher than that of most bosses their size. So it's a very high risk, low reward boss. That's just a pain in the ass in general. But this thing's good at taking them out. You just gotta give it the chance. Or we could just direct shoot it just like that. Or I can get stuck. That works too. Where'd it go? I don't know. We're on Garod Krovi for guess what? You'll never guess what. The Raygun Mark III. And it's in the box, which is actually a change of pace for Black Ops 3. Because BO3 and BO4, even BO2 really to some extent, are quest-oriented wonder weapons. But it's a nice change of pace. It kind of is like a throwback World of War BO1 vibe map. With, obviously, World War II Stalingrad, but also box wonder weapons, dude. So weird. And an actual pack-a-punch machine. Yes. 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 No more wasted time. Take me to a better place. Throw this bad boy in. Mm. Raygun Mark III. The ultimate camping device. Also good for training. But more so for just sitting in a corner like a little bitch. Like so, just doing this. Although, you know what's kind of irritating about the whole camping strat is Valkyrie drones pretty much single-handedly destroy it. The game's like, here's a really good weapon to sit here and camp with, you know, one shot slows him down, the other one sends him into oblivion. But then you also got a giant robot electrocuting you constantly from behind you, and it's all about finding them and making sure they're not 
you know, fucking up your shit simultaneously, and there's usually multiple of them. Bah. With that all said, it's a pretty dope wonder weapon. I would say, without a doubt, it's the best of the three ray guns. That's kind of a no-brainer. I mean, they just get better as they go. The original ray gun in this game is sad, frankly. All right, boys, we're on Revelations. We are here for the Apothic and Servant. The Thunder Gun is on the map as well. Like a lot of the previous wonder weapons between this and Chronicles, they make a lot of... Uh, Reappearances, but of course we're not doing the repeats, just the OGs. So we're here for the Apothic and Servant, which was actually, of course, introduced on Shadows of Evil. But you can no longer pack a punch it on that map. And I say no longer because at one point when the game first launched, you could, but then they patched it. There was a little glitch where you could like uh, sneak your wonder weapon on in there. And it's no longer the case. It's unfortunate. I remember those days, it was cracked back in like 2015. Oh my fucking God, it's, it's been a long time. And there's a legitimate way to do it now on Revelations. There's a process to do it. I don't remember the full process, truth be told. I might have to look up a Waffles tutorial because Revelations is not a map I play a lot, not my map of choice. And to be honest, it's not even a gun you really need to upgrade because it's that good by itself. Really, with Alchemical, that gun is just unstoppable. <laughs> so, it's not even like, plus the Thunder Gun. So, I mean, it's not like this huge necessity to even upgrade it, but it is obviously better. Okay, all right, Fist Me Squid, nice. Now for this upgrade here, we have to shoot these rocks. There we go. There's four more after that. Ow, bitch. Now, I'm not impervious to guides, you know, even your boy who's a, quote, zombies pro, which makes me cringe just saying that out loud. Needs a guide here and there. And Milo is usually my go-to guy, but this one was crazy rabbit, dude. Giving me a nice tutorial of where they all are. Let's let's listen in. Be right here. So once you see it, it's relatively easy to hit. Because I think okay, that weapon, all, I do mean upgrade and Apothic and Servant. Okay, and you just throw it right in. Sweet. Now, the Apothic and Servant is just about the greatest wonder weapon ever it actually is it has infinite damage kills in a pretty profound way in a radius that kind of just eliminates everything within its vicinity the only problem of course is ammo but gobblegum help with that kind of thing pack punching it in revelations case helps with that kind of thing so let's throw it on in now that we've done our little rocky easter egg now that we've played those silly games oh and this one's gonna last like, you know, we're gonna count it out for the next shot. Cause I don't remember how many seconds the original shot was, but this one lasts close to double the length of it is my guess. So let's, let's hear it already. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Like 10 seconds, dude. Ladies and gents, we on the BO4 the voyage of despair totally thrilled to be here not being sarcastic at all all jokes aside i haven't played voyage in a little bit so it's not going to be the end of the world i don't mind it too much we're here for the kraken of course a wonder weapon that like most in bo4 can be obtained via quest or more simply in the mystery box so i hopped on custom mutations the only difference between this and a regular game is i disabled every weapons class other than wonder weapons handguns and melees so that's what we're working with we're gonna spin the box get the kraken upgrade it as intended but also there are four different elemental variants to it that you can get via aats from the catalyst zombies so with those alternate ammo types we're going to convert them into four different elements on top of its upgrade the kraken is an underrated wonder weapon okay all right all right and we have enough for the pack a punch now so let's go do that Throw a little homunky baby. Go get him, tiger. Eh. Throw that in. Now, obviously, when it's upgraded this way, it's more of the same. More ammo, more powerful, etc. But we can also get these AATs from the catalysts here, like I said. So, poison, ice, lightning, and fire. Whether or not a wonder weapon is good it doesn't really matter if it's on a map like this that's, you know, either underrated or just has a bad reputation. So with Voyage, not a lot of people play it. Therefore, Kraken doesn't get used a lot. Therefore, pretty underrated wonder weapon. All right, cool. We got the the goop. We got the gooba gabagool. Okay, well, we already have the uh, the green semen, so we'll come back for the yellow semen later. Let me just bring it right on over to this machine over here. Although I'm pretty sure it's like 
expensive. My, if my memory serves me correctly, like 4,500, something like that. All right, yeah, this is just a constant fuck fest. I just love Black Ops 4. Please leave me alone for just a second. Six grand? Wow, that's steep. All right, all right, all right. All right, well, then we got poison now. Show Requeese what it's like. I wouldn't say one is more outstanding than the others necessarily. I think they're all right about the same. I think this all just comes down to personal preference, whereas, you know, with the stabs and the bows, those can vary a little bit in terms of actual ability. At the end of this, though, even though there probably isn't a winner on paper, Timmy's going to pick a winner, which one his favorite is. And this one just seems to... Okay, it's got like a little Winter's Whale ability. It's got a little Freeze Freeze. The poison one just seemed to... Uh, poison them? I don't know. It just kind of just destroys them either way. I'm not sure if the ammo varies. Do I get an ammo refill? I love how they predictably spawn right in front of me. That's so nice. Yeah, I'm not sure if... I think I get a full ammo refill. I haven't been paying attention to whether or not they all have the same amount of ammo. This one's the fire one. Let's see. Just feels a lot like the poison one. I would say out of the four of them, just by the eye test, I think I like the blue one the most. They're all pretty good. This one's kind of lame. It's an insta-kill right now. It's not very indicative of how good it is. We're on nine. Do I need to be doing challenges? No, I don't. But I just literally... I see object. I, I, I knife it. Monkey see, monkey do. We're here for the death of Orion. A fun wonder weapon in the box. You can get it another way, but it's not necessary, my friend. Yes. Yes. We got everything we need now, bitch. Death of Orion. Actually, not that great of a wonder weapon. I'm not going to lie. Nine is a great map. <laughs> I've never been fond of this one. It doesn't kill all that well, like at all. It just kind of slows them down. Circuit's Kiss. Is it much better? It's got more ammo. I see that much. Let's get them all in a horde. I don't know. You guys be the judge. Tell me if I'm tripping or not. Single shot makes a crawler. That's lovely. That's awesome. On round 12, mind you. We're on Dead of the Night now. There's a couple of things here. Okay, we're going for the Alistair's Foley, obviously. Then we upgrade it to the Chaos Theory, and then we upgrade it to the Alistair's Annihilator after that. So that's the process we're here for mainly. There's also a steak knife wonder weapon, which we're going to include in the melee video in the future. And then there's also a savage impaler, which cannot be upgraded. So we're not going to go for it. Just figured I'd give it a little bit of a mention here. We are skipping over classified and blood of the dead because those are repeats. The blunder gat and the winter's howl. Of course, the magma gat is different than the vitrolic withering slash acid gas sweeper upgrade, but it's, it's the fucking blunder gat. Okay. Uh, we're going to show some footage just so everyone makes sure that they get their eye on it. But beyond that, no reason to hop on Blood of the Dead, <laughs> especially if I don't really have to or want to. You know, it's actually not that hard to get, and it's actually one of the better wonder weapons in this game. I love the Magma Gat. Rope. I think the game is telling me to can't... Oh, boy, I'm not going to make that joke. That's a little <laughs> insensitive. I think the game is giving me a sign, guys. Now we play the game of walk around the map aimlessly on the around the perimeter, old necks, looking for objects. Oh, 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 I, I thought that was the Mozu. Okay. I think by the time I ended up getting that in the box, I could have just got it by default, but that's okay. The Alistair's Foley itself is a little bit underwhelming. You know, it's like a ray gun. It's actually pretty good for the first I would say 15, 20 rounds. Not so bad. Chaos Theory. Stage two of three here. It's like the war toil phase. Chaos Theory in and of itself isn't so bad either. It's got two different abilities. It's got a little attracting mechanism thingy that you see right here. That one's kind of lame. Right now I need a tornado so I can get some vampire bile. And they got to collect three more parts on top of all the parts I've already collected for this. On top of all the other parts that Dead of the Night has. Come out, come out. Little slut. Yeah, I'm talking to you. All right, we're finally here. I actually got it relatively quickly, at least compared to last time, because I had a rough idea of what to do. It's just a lot to remember. I, I got the annihilator, I want to say, like two months ago, something like that, so my memory is somewhat fresh on it. So there are four elemental abilities. Two of them we already saw. The tornado and the little confusion ray. There's also this one right here, a little shrink ray, which is pretty fucking dope. There it is. The power of raw. Ancient evil time, baby! 
Second best map in this game? Question mark? It's this or nine? I love how they just let me just take them all out right from the beginning. Very nice stuff right there. Dog, you can sit down on the couch if you want. There you go. Good girl. Okay. All right. Well, uh, we're doing some, <laughs> some gauntlets. Some wonder weapons. There are four of them. Each of their own ilk. Their own element of the four Greek gods. Goddesses. These are not weapons that we're going to get out of the box, so maybe in the settings I should have turned on the other guns so I could actually get something better than the RK7 Garrison. But <laughs> you know what? It adds to the challenge. On one hand, it makes it easier to spin the box and get the wonder weapon we need, but on the other hand, it does make it a little more challenging in a different regard because we have very little to work with. Now, of course, there are two gauntlets on each side of the map, totaling four. On the main part of the map, there's Gaia, which we're at right now, and Himera, both of which I really like. Definitely more so than the other two. They're the easiest to build as far as I'm concerned, and they're just as effective it seems they're all pretty much in the same realm of effectiveness if i were to hop in a regular game of ancient evil i guess this is kind of a regular game but you know what i'm talking about we would uh probably go for gaia in most situations himera probably second this one's definitely the coolest in terms of just pure aesthetics i don't know if it's the best for ammo because i think a lot of it can be wasted if you're not uber effective with it but I love it, this one on a personal level. It looks like my software is having a hard time processing this right now. This is the classic of every four elemental wonder weapons. There's always the one that's just like the GTFO. This one's it. <laughs> GTFO ho, thunder gun style. Feel like fucking Crane from Kung Fu Panda, dude. And lastly, but not leastly, this one is fucking ominous, dude. Like where? <laughs> Where are we? I'm not a huge fan of this one. It takes a while to kill them. It's kind of like the void bow of these gauntlets. It doesn't really float my boat. That's all four of them. Relatively easy process. Really great for a group of people, I would say, because you just kind of breeze right through it, and then everyone in your lobby has a really cool wonder weapon. They're not the best ever, which I think is fair, you know, relative to how hard it is to obtain. There is an exalted form, what's called an exalted form for all four of them, which is technically an extra stage to the upgrade process, but all it really does is add a little bit of ammo and it could make it 5% stronger, but really ultimately this is the upgraded form. The fully upgraded form, quote unquote, is essentially just extra credit. It's nothing that's going to be that big of a game changer. Unless you're really going for a high round on this map, I wouldn't recommend it it's just extra time how beautiful truly truly beautiful we are here on Togger toe and we're gonna wrap up the video here we're skipping alpha omega because the reagan mark ii is not original to alpha omega don't try to convince me otherwise it is pulled and plugged copy and pasted nothing original about it except for the upgrades to it specifically but we'll show some gameplay of that it is not worth the fucking migraine dude it is just a pain in the fucking nuts and i don't want anything to do with it but we're on toggy tog and we're gonna get the two exclusive wonder weapons to this map the let me try to pronounce it correctly here the i'm gonna try to pronounce it in german correctly the Wunderwaff DG Scharfusta, probably fucking wrong and then the tundra gun there's also a thunder gun but it's lame as hell. All right, now we're talking. Free Tundra Gun. Oh my god, there goes my shield. Will you guys uh, do me a favor and piss the fuck off? Okay. So now we can go upgrade this. No, apparently there are more dogs. Like, what? Anyways, Jesus Christ. Golden Pack-A-Punch is a resourceful way to upgrade them fully, but only for bullet guns with AATs. In all reality, we just need to find standard PAP, which seems to be across the universe from here. Throw it in once, and since we don't need an AAT, the standard five grand will be fine. Hurry up, hurry up, hurry up, hurry up, 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 hurry up, up, up. There we go, up! Okay, Boreas Blizzard, very nice. It is an ice version of the beloved Thunder Gun. Is it better? No. Is it bad? No, 
it's serviceable. It does the job. Got the key to get the key for the Wonder Waff, which we can only have. I learned this the hard way last time. Only one Wonder Weapon at a time. So I have to trade in this gun, but, which is unfortunate, but I already used it. So we're good. Let's go pack a punch this thing. Burns out now. It's that golden pack a punch, baby. So we're going to throw this on in for 5k. And you know what? Since we have enough, it's in the budget. Let's just throw that in too. Why the fuck not? Okay, so this is the Wonder Waff, yeah? With a scope. It is not very good. <laughs> I would say the Tundra Gun's probably actually better. This has a lot of ammo, but it doesn't kill a ton. It's not quite like the original Wonder Waff. I feel like the chain reaction isn't quite as there. It's good. It's serviceable. It'll get you kills. I mean, but... It's pretty fucking lame, I'm not gonna lie. And ho hopefully that's not too anticlimactic, because that is the end of the video. If you guys enjoyed, make sure to leave a like and subscribe. Again, we're gonna do Cold War and a separate video. Right now, it is not safe to play Cold War, because for whatever reason, the servers are compromised, because, you know, the publishers and devs, God forbid they make a game that's safe and secure to play in 2023. So we're gonna hold off on Cold War for a little bit, but once... You know, word is spread that that's safe again to hop on. Then we will do that. And we're going to pack a punch all weapons amongst all classes. And that will be that episode. So thank you for watching. I love you. Have a phenomenal day.